ready to bless us in this worship service. We are starting this interdenominational church service in honor of the living God and His Imperial Majesty Oba Gandhi Afolabi Olaoye Oruma Gege the top the song of the Jerusalem. I'm glad on his behalf to welcome all of you to this wonderful and glorious service. It is our prayer that in this place today, the presence of the Lord is a reflect in the name of Jesus Christ. This service is starting now in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I will invite Reverend Dr. Joseph Bernadette to come and lead us in the opening prayer. Please turn your Please turn your program booklet with me to page 38. Page 38. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father.
And I will give you leaders after my own heart who will guide you with knowledge and understanding. And at that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne that belongs to the Lord. And all the nations shall be gathered unto it. To the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, neither shall they walk anymore after the imagination of their evil heart. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to offer worship and praise to Almighty God, who has given us a king after his own heart, in his mercy and not in his wrath. We have come to rejoice with and pray for our king and dedicate his imperial majesty to the service of God in the Gomosh land. As we go about this service, let us remember that the Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, is in our midst. And he is here to bless us. And through all this service, we shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Oh, worship the King. Oh, glorious love. Oh, grateful mercy. Is living Jesus Allahu aye raye adupe lowo re fun o fe to fun wa loni pe o se ilu ogbo ma so logo pa pa ki se ogbo ma so nikan o se oyo state logo o se Nigeria logo lati je ki gbogbo wo peju sibi lori bi pe o fi eni ti okan re je oyi oba so no fugu ma so land oluwa gba ope wa oluwa gba yin wa awa gba dura loruko jesu christi igba yin akoko yin yo ro wa lorun a o ni ni inira a o ni ri ogun a o ni ri ote a o ni ri ipanju o gbo kan tinu bi ni olohun o wo nu won won o si ronu pi wada gbogbo wa la koko baba wa gandhi gbogbo wa la sori re Yo wa no we ta lo lai lai pe akoko oba na gbogbo wa sori re be ni o ri fun wa bi olukuluko ti ma tuka lo ni nigba ta tuka kan idunu atayo la ba ni le wa idunu atayo ni ma ba wa lo isoro ta ni kokan gbe deyin ko ni gbe pada si mo jesu oluwa wa Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Eki alleluia. We never knew he will honor us this way. In Ugomasha, we never knew he will honor us this way, Baba. We never knew he will honor us this way. We honor all this way. Thank you, Jesus. Let us see. We never knew. We honor all this way. Who has demonstrated his faithfulness among the animals 
in choosing for us in Ogbomosho a new king. A beloved son, his imperial majesty of Agandi, I will be allowed to get the third. Infinite God, to thee we raise our hearts in solemn songs of praise. We worship you, our Lord, the everlasting King, and bow our souls before thy throne. Praise the Lord. As we continue this worship service, I want to invite to sing Alao with his praise team to lead us in songs of praise unto the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Please lift your hand above your head.
Yes, yes, yes. Come on.
Come on. You are. I'm rounding up. Please close your eyes and lift your hand, uh, your hand above your head. Let the keyboard just go. Come on. Aya. Everybody all over the gallery. Jesus Olagbara. Say. you in the name of Jesus. It is time to read the psalm of the king. I have a singular honor to invite his imperial majesty Oba Gandhi of Polabi Olawi to come to the podium to read the psalm of the king for us. Let's celebrate Jesus as his imperial majesty is coming to the podium. Let's celebrate Jesus. You are the mighty God, the great I Praise 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Jesus. Hallelujah. That doesn't sound like people who are excited. I say, Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We honor our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ this morning. It's Him we live, it's Him we move. And it's in him we have our very being. Yes. And so we give him all the glory. Hallelujah. He alone made today possible. Amen. It's not according to our might. It's not according to our wisdom. It is him who has decided that today will be. And that's why he, it is. And that's why we call him the great I am that I am. God and God alone knew today will happen from the foundations of the Amen. world. And so, it is not an happenstance, it's not a coincidence, it's what God ordained, that at this time, at this period, this town will have Gandhi Olawi as the king. And when God speaks, no force in hell can stop it. And so today, what we are doing is that we are keeping date with destiny. Hallelujah. Are you happy that you are keeping date with destiny today? That our eyes can see today? Are you really happy? Why don't we stand up and give the shout to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, to the Great I Am, the One and the Only Almighty God. We give you all the glory and we give you all of the adoration. Amen. Psalm 21. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. How the king rejoices in your strength. O Lord, he shouts with joy because you give him victory. For you have given him his heart's desire. You have withheld nothing he requested. You welcome him back with success and prosperity. You place a crown of the finest gold on his head. He asks you to preserve his life and you granted his request. The days of his life stretch on forever. Your victory brings in great honor, and you have clothed him with splendor and majesty. You have endowed him with eternal blessings and given him the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. The unfailing love of the Most High will keep him from stumbling. You will capture all your enemies. Your strong right hand will seize all who hate you. You will throw them in a flaming furnace when you are prayer. The Lord will consume them in his anger. Fire will devour them. You will wipe their children. You will wipe their children from the face of this heart. They will never have descendants. Although they plot against you, their evil schemes will never succeed. For they will turn and run. And when they see the arrows aimed at them, rise up, O Lord, in all your power. With music and singing, we celebrate your mighty acts. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word.
All right, let's be seated. Let's have our seats. The Lord has brought our daddy Gio down to Bumaso safely. We are glad to have him. And in the name of the Lord Jesus, and on behalf of the His Imperial Majesty, we welcome daddy Gio. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome, sir. I want to invite Dr. Samson Adegoki for the Bible reading number one. Pata aye raye shebi isadi wa jekio miyo eje to sola ti are shebos fe. Jesu ni balogun e okun e ma se jokan fo ya e ma se beru e kun fun ayo tori Jesu lo ba Our second Bible reading will be found in the books of First King, chapter three, from verse seven to fifteen. First King, chapter three, seven to fifteen. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen. A great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give Therefore, thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may design between good and bad for who is able to judge these thy so great a people. And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, because thou hast asked this thing and hast not asked for thy long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of your enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to design judgment. Verse 12. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, but riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou would walk in my ways, 
to keep my status and my commandments. So thy father David walk. Then I will there for the days of our life, of your life, sorry. The last verse, which is 15. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants. May the Lord bless his reading. And louder, shout it loud, hallelujah. We are taking the second Bible reading from the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 15. Acts of Apostles, chapter 15. We are reading from verse. 16 to verse 20. I want you to follow me as I read in English. Acts chapter 15 from verse 16 to 20. After this, I will return. I will build again the tabernacle of David, which is falling down. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called said the Lord, who dwelt all these things. Verse 18. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them. We from among the Gentiles are turned to God. And the last verse, verse 20. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. May the Lord bless his word abundantly in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus once more. I want to invite the Christian Association of Nigeria Choir of South and North Local Governments of Ubumasho to present their special item. We will listen to the choir now. Thank you. 
it is indeed to make a joyful sound to God. For our king, hey, Gandhi, Allah, we put it on Latin. We call Latin where who you are, you see all around. We put a couple of you, put two seno a year. Now you come on so, now you just it. You learn Nigeria. You don't have to worry about Zimbabwe.
God the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. He is worthy. He is worthy. He alone deserves the glory. Please turn your program booklet with me to page 40. As we say, in Christ alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Page 40. May we stand, please.
Thank you very much for that good singing. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. It is time to hear the word of God. And as I've told you, we are so blessed today to have our daddy in the Lord in our midst. I know many of you have been expecting that the Lord is going to rain down his power and blessings unto our life today. South, hallelujah! I'm glad to introduce our daddy in the Lord, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Baba Daddy, Pastor Enoch Adejari Abedoyo is here with his wife. I will gladly invite this Miss Mistress Pastor, that is the Intercontinental Choir Leader of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Puli Ajayi, to come and usher him and our daddy for two minutes. Thank you. You can be seated as the Lord is using our brother to usher him, our daddy Gio.
Jackie, hallelujah. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Jackie, and Baki, hallelujah. That's not bad, but uh, that sounds like Oboma Shaw, hallelujah. Oh, that be hallelujah, Oboma Shaw, like him. Let's hear a heavenly hallelujah. And the Kaki, hallelujah, at your Rubai. Get you. I know there is someone here today who will see the new year. And if you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Okay. Let us pray. I have a First of all, let me apologize for coming late. La Coco, a gentoro, a furiji, we open me dear. No, me, no, that that's not my. Come on, me, one of the me on fear, Coco, Jafara.
The kingdom will go, grow from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Your royal majesty, congratulations, sir. Um, congratulations. <laughs> Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verse 18. Is she our apostle? New Rick, do go, as I get it in your go. Acts 15, verse 18. Is she our apostle? New Rick, do go, as I get it in your go. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Acts 15, verse 18. You look away. And it's you saw Bobo Kawaii Dimima Lati Bawashe. All right. Um, <laughs> thank God for interpreters. Nobody is in this world by accident. Who see any tea? Oh, I know I ye pay or all the chassis. God said in His word. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Jeremiah 1, 4 and 5. Jeremiah so before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Kinto you While you were still in your mother's womb, I have already settled what you are going to become. And then in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Jeremiah The Almighty God says, I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of good, not of evil. That you might have an expected end. There is an end that God has planned for you to have. There is something that is called destiny. Before you were born, that had been settled. Everything that we are seeing today had been settled before the foundations of the world. When came to me and said, Daddy, they are asking me to man ascend to the throne of my father. And what, 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 what do you think about that? I said, sir, come and pray. He said, do I have to pray for something like that? I said, we'll pray. Me, he was expecting me to say, what are you talking about? You are a pastor now. Uh, I was expecting Said, I haven't had anything. Three more. Because God has to say, I died. You know. In the people. I've seen it in the internet. You seem as a way of not doing his duty. I should have told my pastor no. That is awful. Or the should have got a mirror out. Well, I want to submit to them. Ah, go fair, go fair, far I want to tell those who said so. <laughs> that, uh, if Adeboye says no and God says yes. 
Who is going to have the finances? So finally, my son, now my, <laughs> my king. So finally, my son came back and said, God has spoken. Lay your rain on my me, see what it did about me by. And God told him, for this purpose, you are born. I created you to be a king. I said, see what I'm talking about? Fortunately for me, he didn't ask me. I thought he was going to say, Daddy, you mean you knew all along? He didn't ask, so I didn't have to answer. Brothers and sisters, we are not the Brothers and sisters, we are not the plan of God for your life will come to pass. Because it is written in Psalm 33, verse 11. Psalm 33, verse 11. It says, The counsel of the Lord stands forever. And then he says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Proverbs 19, verse 21. He says, There may be many devices in the heart of a man. But the counsel of the Lord shall stand. It doesn't matter what any human being may do. What God wants to do, that's what He will do. Uh, I mean, we have several examples. We have uh, the example of uh, we have the example of uh, Apostle Paul. I Apostle Paul. We knew how he started his life. I'm a bush We knew how he ended it. I'm a bush And he himself said in Galatians chapter one. On God goes on in the way or it. He said that everybody knows. And when the time came, because he had already. Permission of Yoruba to give me five minutes. I want to address Kabisu. And it's concerned Kabiesi, so it's none of your business. Kabiesi, <laughs> you But I have 
Let me conclude my my sermon. God created you for a purpose. His purpose will always come to pass. It doesn't matter what your enemy may try. However, the Englishman will say, uh, the one who makes the pencil also made the eraser. Only two people can change your destiny. 
in on meti lo le yi ipe re pada you he walk and god himself ati olorun to da o in first samuel chapter 2 verse 30 ninu iwe samuel kini ori keje ese ogbon for samuel 2 verse 30 samuel kini ori keje ese ogbon god said to ela olorun so fun eli he said I said indeed. Only Musa we pay. I didn't send somebody. I said it myself. They who fear no any can he make gun move no other Musa. That you and your father's house will stand before me forever. They he walk at the hour around Madama Ilere new mercy meet it like like. So but now I change my mind. Should be all over. I will hear come back with and I say, oh God, do not say so anymore. So that instead of your children being priests, they will be beggars. Because those who honor me, I will honor. I want to bow up for me. I will bow up those who will not honor me, I will lightly esteem. I want to go back to the house and walk back to the house. I want to go back to the house and walk back to the house. I want to go back to God has a great plan for your life. God has a great plan for your life. God has a great plan for your life. But you can change it yourself. God has a great plan for your life. If we do contrary to his wish, he will change his mind. To abati lekbe ibese, lati man show unto tako ifere yo yi beno repada. And if he says I'm changing my mind, you can go ahead and sue him. Ti obaso ko when you are come pada le joto abafe belo man show. And then we'll find who will be your judge, who will be your lawyer. How are when it is your job, but you are attending to your job and that job. I'll tell you a little story about myself, and then we will close in prayer. I just came so, you know, I'll see no bad dura. Nineteen fifty-one. Near do nineteen fifty-one. I was a little boy in the primary school. Omode odolanga. The Anglican Bishop. And it was Olori Jo Aguda. Anglican. Anglican. I'm a father Aguda. 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 Anglican. Okay. Came to my little village in Nifewara. What was he? He lived to Iluwa. Because I was a... Little Anglican Church in Ifewara. Little Ripe, a Jew Anglican, Kikirikan, or one in Ibeg. In those days, near one or John Wayne, only two lorries came to my village a day. Okon Lai Leru, Major Piri, Nemawa, Sea Lua. They're very loud. What, 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 the Lari won't lie. I know only five people in the village then that had shoes. And the shoes are not what we will really call shoes, but uh, they are. And the bishop came. From Ibadan. Bishop. Bishop Walati Ibadan. He came in a car. What work will look like? Are you for the first time in my life, I saw a vehicle that can move with very little noise. For you, back, Oko, then why you mean Mori Oko? To just be quiet, to ban Kojalo, he only fed Mbogbo. We lined the road for him. I want to see you on the phone. The hunters were shooting their guns. I want them when you boss okay. The drummers were beating their drums. I want to look when you look to one. And when he was about to come out of the car, he was about to come out of the car. 
I look at his shoes. Oh, but that's one walk. Wow. Black and shiny. But I don't do that on common sense. When I got home, I told my mom. That in Modele, we saw from my mom. We pay. When I grow up, Mama, I'm going to be a bishop. In Bati Moba Daba, I may not have had the bishop. Years passed. Odo wan gori odo. As soon as I left home, you must have kuro ne ile. I also left the church. Ben on the mo kuro ne no ijo. I began to live all kinds of naughty life. Mo bere sini be i be aye ki be aye. I became as far from God as anybody can be. Mo jina mo takete si olor orere. But one day, so many ojo kan. I had a preacher. Mo bo ti one wa su wa su. Who said? O so we pe. If you want God's purpose for your life to be fulfilled, to ba fe ki ti olorun fun aye re ko wa si imuse. Surrender your life to Jesus. Jo wa aye re lowo fun Jesu Oluwa. One way or the other, I agreed. Wa mo fara mo. I gave my life to Jesus. Mo fi aye me fun Jesu. Little by little, I became a pastor. Dear, 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 dear. Let me not say the old shabu but on here. Little by little, I became general overseer. Dear, dear. Mode, mode. Allah, budget to lap up. And I decided to visit our little churches in Nigeria. We were sitting in Bebobo, and we enjoyed our cake, cake. You really did Nigeria work. And the day came when I was to visit Ifewara. I just can't wait. Money last in Ifewara. And my people decided to give me a hero's welcome. And when I met work, we know that if for many, you can't come but to learn it. School children line the roads. I want my lay way. Want to see a good journal. Drummers were beating their drums. I want to look. Want to look. Look. Hunters were firing their dingoes. I want there. I want to hear but okay. And when I was about to come out of my car. We must have had a jar of crow. No one came. Rose, incidentally, was a new car. Ah, what's it? Why did we pay a quarter ton? I looked at my legs. Movo, I was SM MJJ. I was wearing black shoes. Movo, but I do do shiny. Those in dark brown. And I remembered. Movo, I wrote it. Something. That I said thirty years before. Oh, Timo, so that the land will be of God. No saying. And I thank God. Moa do pelo wa loro. The change in my life came. Aye, pada shele ne no aye me. When I gave my life to Jesus. Nemba Timo fi aye me for Jesus. My destiny that would have been truncated was restored. Ibu ime ti ba dojuru oloro mukse imu pada bosi pore. I'm not a bishop now, but I'm not too far behind. No, see, the bishop by Superman with Genesis. That's why I want to appeal to you. It didn't hear Timothy Fair Paro was here. Those of you who are listening to me today. Book by Eti and Gomeloni. God has a great plan for your life. Alone, only a day to Labara for a year. If you want that destiny of yours to be fulfilled, surrender your life to Jesus today. That's why God brought you here. Surrender your life to Jesus today. It doesn't matter how terrible. Your life is up to now. What you will keep? Are you ready to look at me? Shut up! If you give your life to Him, to be fair, you are free. Everything will become new. On go go your dear turn. So please, you told me now. I'm going to count up to ten. We better see if you can be my wife before I say ten. Can you talk to me? 
Mewa. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus, so that your destiny can be fulfilled, so that the good plan of God for your life may come to pass. Please come and stand before the altar here. And I will pray for your soul. I'm counting now. One. Any. Two. A G. Three. Eta. Four. Eri. Five. Aru. Seven A J Eight A J Nine a song Okay, those of you who have come and those who are on the way at the time Tembolona, please cry to Jesus Christ. And ask him to have mercy on you. Ask him to save your soul. Ask him that he will fulfill his purpose for your life. Go ahead, talk to the Lord. And the rest of us who are sure of our salvation. Please stretch your hands towards these people. And I'm intercede for them. Pray that God will save their souls. That the one who saved your soul will save their own souls also. Just for another one minute. Intercede for them for your brothers and sisters. Intercede for your brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, I want to bless your holy name. I want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for these people who have come forward. Father, please receive them. Save their souls. Forgive all their sins. Write their names in the book of life. And whatever may be your plan for their lives, bring to pass, O oh Lord. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, those of you who have come forward, I want to rejoice with you. I promise you, by the grace of God, from now on, I'll be praying for you. So there will be some brethren. I think they are to my right. Where are they? Ah, okay. If you look to your right, you see some people waving some papers. Please follow them. They want to know your name, your prayer request, and they will bring you back very quickly. I can begin to go now. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Don't you clap a little more so that uh, yeah, Jesus will be happy. Tell us, will you please move out of the of the place so that these people can go? God bless counselors. Counselors, don't stop yet. God bless counselors. Counselors. Be cancelled. Move a little further. Okay. Finally, before I take my seat, what do they pay one lojoko? When your son becomes the king, ibati omo ibati oba. Whether you like it or not, you must call him your Majesty. Ofe oko obodo pe ne kabi si alayilua. But that does not subtract from your power to bless. So as the father of the king, <laughs> I want to ask the king to kindly step forward with his wife and So just a word of blessing and then Oro Ibukon Nishoki. If I ask His Majesty to kneel, I'm asking him to kneel before the King of Kings. For Samuel. Okay. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 10. Then Samuel took a flask of olive oil and poured it over Saul's head. He kissed Saul on the cheek and said, I am doing this because the Lord has appointed you to be the leader of his people, Israel. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Ah! Uh -huh. 
anointing fall on me. Far from a woman. Amen. May the Almighty God move you from glory to glory. Amen. May He build a wall of fire around about you and your family. Amen. Whenever you cry unto Him, remembering today, may He answer you by fire. Amen. And may you serve the Lord to the end. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, Kabish. God bless you, Lord. Finally, those of us who are here today rejoicing with Kabezi, maybe you two want to stand up on your feet and cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, very, very soon, life fulfill my destiny. Go ahead, cry unto the Almighty God. Jesus name we pray by the corporate anointing of all the ministers of God in this auditorium this afternoon all of us I fulfill your destiny we will fulfill God's purpose for your life in the name of Jesus please be seated the Lord has done it the Lord has done it in the name of Jesus. Before we go to the session of prayer, His Imperial Majesty has requested that his friend, Mr. Larry Dekno, to present a week hip, week hip music. And I will humbly invite a brother to please come forward, Mr. Larry Deckner and his group, to present special coronation anthem. Cabencio, Mokinio, His Imperial Majesty. Um, Correction, my name is Larry De 
lano de lano moki our daddy it's a big pleasure and privilege to stand here where you have stood and i'm standing in front of you please eke hallelujah for me hallelujah i think yes um before i go into our production i have a little testimony that is all in t ole bemide bibai t imperial majesty tole so we pay king washington combi oje akpere ore gidi gidi ore timo timo ore otito ati je ore lati over 40 years ago and today je pe emi nse music in the university ohun na o nse english but aje ore gan in total wa se pataki ni wi pe ni ore ta je ni gba yen inu mi dun bi pe bi mo se se si or how i related with him in some areas ko ti e ro rara o de so ike mo lati wa ki ma so won oro speak english won won oro rara in to de sele ni pe nigba ta wa ni university awon ti mo nse ka bi esi fun nisin ti mo n do bale fun won in konko tenant mi ni won je tenant nigbati a ma pe tenant a wa ni university a wa ko ni privilege lati ni yara ta n gbe so a for la em ka bi esi ka bi esi mo pa won lati ma stay pelu mi sugbon nkokon wa to ba won je nigba yen sorry nigba yen ni won ma sun so ton ba ti sun 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 igba mi temi ba ni em alejo ma ko so fun won fo em dide 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 bosita 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 a de se be but sheri gbogbo kini won e o so ipe ore ni won mo dupe gidigidi so i have with my group here to do a special rendition for him e bere lati se iyen ti emi ba gbe yin bi a se nkorin yi e le dide ke ba wa korin na kede josi eh o to ba gogo la se to ba gogo la se a o baba di te a o baba binu to ba gogo la se kandi o to ba gogo la se eh to ba gogo la se a o baba di te a o baba binu Somebody, 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 somebody
Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's clap for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The I am that I am. We bless God for that presentation. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Kabi's his friend, please come. It's in prayer, Majesty. Want to snap picture with you? Wait, who? With Daddy Gio, okay. With Daddy Gio, not you. He wants to take picture with you.
the Baba that the KBC is greetings is a 99 year old pastor and a grandmother and mother of KBC Gandhi Olaoye during his time he started Bangkok University and seven day Advent and Adventist Hospital in Ileve. Pastor Dr. Johnson Adewi Adewi is the President Emeritus, Seventh Day Adventist Church. We thank God for his life. 99 hold here, Baba. Let's celebrate Jesus for him. Thank you, Daddy, for coming. Thank you, thank you. All right, it is time for special prayers. John C. Adeniji. All right, thank you. It is time for special prayers. The first prayer for the king will be taken by the, by the Nigerian Baptist Convention president. And the president of all African Baptist Fellowship. I'm glad to invite Reverend Dr. Israel Adelani Akaji to come and bless the king with his prayer. Praise the Lord. Uh, just before I pray, I was in Rome when Pope Francis was installed as the new Pope. That's the current Pope. I was in St. Peter's Cathedral for his installation. It happened that the Pope was first a cardinal. And out of the cardinals, one man was selected to be Pope. The swearing in for the Pope was done by another cardinal, a fellow cardinal. Because there was no higher level to swear in the Pope. And so the Pope was speaking after the cardinal. And that cardinal had the power to swear him in. And as soon as he concluded swearing him in, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the first thing the cardinal did was to kneel down before the Pope. Because power had changed hand. And so, um, some friends of the king may be here. You had pet names, you were calling yourselves, and things like that. Please know that power has changed hands. Now, I am saying this because all of us are learning. We don't get to see many kings coronated. And so when we see one today, before another one will be coronated, it may take a very long time. And we may forget the lessons the other people learned. But the rest of us you learn today, even if somebody is your friend, your roommate, your classmate, once God has elevated him, when you get to the inner room, two of you can call yourselves names, so, but outside, you must do like that cardinal did to the Pope. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Our father already prayed. And when he was praying, I was saying to myself, is there any need to pray again when Baba has prayed? But I remember the word of God, it says, pray continually. That means even after one prayer, you can pray again and pray again. And therefore, it's time to pray for our KBSC. And uh, I'm so, so glad that our daddy has anointed him with oil in a special way today. And I pray that the power of that anointing shall never cease in your life in Jesus' name. Oba Gandhi Afolabi Olaoye Urumo Gege The third Because of you we remember 
the angels at Christmas that sang praise to God. That any prayer for you begins with praise to God. And today I declare like the angels concerning your coming as they declared concerning the coming of our Savior. Glory be to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory be to God in the highest and on earth peace and good will towards men. Glory be to God on high, peace on earth, good will toward men. Glory be to God on high, peace on earth, good will toward men. Glory be to God, to God on high, glory be to God, to God on high, glory be to God. To God on high. In Jesus' name, we worship. Father God, we pray that your servant, the king, will be physically strong. No illness or disease shall suffer him in the name of Jesus Christ. Your servant, the king, will be mentally sound. His knowledge and wisdom shall be outwitting in the name of Jesus Christ. Your servant, the king, shall be socially relational. Among his colleagues, he will be outstanding in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we pray that our Father, the King, will be spiritually close to you. That, O oh Lord, his rule shall be the rule of God. We pray, eternal God, that he will receive from you all that he will give to Ogumasha land in the name of Jesus Christ. Among the kings of this country, Nigeria, he will be outstanding. And every time he opens his mouth, you will fill it with your own word in the name of Jesus Christ. Among the kings of this nation, wherever he goes, eternal God, your anointing shall speak forth through him in the name of Jesus. We pray, eternal God, that all over the world it shall be known that a new king has come to Nigeria with a difference and his influence shall reach to the ends of the world in the name of Jesus. He will not be like Pharaoh. He will not be like Herod. He will not be like Ahab. He will not be like Manasseh. In the name of Jesus. Oba Gandhi Afolabi Olawi. Rumo Gege the Todd. We pray for you. Like Saul was a head taller than others. So you will continue to be a head taller than others. In the name of Jesus, you will be taller than others in wisdom, taller than others in kindness, taller than others in generosity, taller than others in fairness, taller than others in administration, taller than others in development. At your time, Ogomasha land shall develop. It shall expand. It shall increase. It shall multiply what eyes have not seen and what ears have not heard of and what things have not come to the ears of men. We pray for Ogomosho land. Father, we pray that at this time, Ogomosho is established in your righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll stay continue.
in the mode of prayer as we pray for. I greeted you before. They are go. The chief just pardon me for not recognizing you one by one. Thank you, Daddy. I'm recognizing Professor Adesola Adepoju, who happened to be the chairman of Prophet Ihe Akintola Reform CNS, all head of churches. Thank you. The Lord. Can we take that song before I, I make my address? Who can lead that song for us? Do you know the song? Oh, yeah. Eyes have seen the goodness of the Lord. Do you know it? The choir of whoever knows it. For the word it says that we preach at this coronation service. He called at the time. He said, "It's not why is are we doing this service before the um, uh, Amen." I want to thank the Baptist Church for allowing us to use this place. Thank you so much. And we honor you, sir. Thank you very much. I want to thank all the ministers and the men of God. I always say, I used to be one of you, but now I'm a king. And so, I'm still a priest. And I'm still a king. But I am not a pastor of people again. God has called me to be a shepherd of a town. And it is a promotion that the Lord has given to me. Very few people get that, to be a priest and a king. That's what God says we will be in the end time. But I have started living it here, even in this world. I believe that, I want to thank all the cardiacists. Thank you so much. Uh, and God will also honor you and your kingdom. What I would say to us, and especially those who are in Obomosho land, let us work together and let us develop this land. Let us develop this land and let's make this land a place where every Obomosho son and daughter, what they will be proud of. Instead of us doing an in, in our our own wranglings among ourselves. The Shawun of Ogumosho is the head of Ogumosho land. And there is, no, there is no argument and there is nothing about that. The Shawun is the head of Ogumosho land. Let's work together. It's the first among equals. Amen. I believe that this town is entering into a new season. I believe it's a new dawn for Ogumosho land. A new